Elite is also not doing quite the right thing anymore. Let's see how Remove Note works. Remove Current Note. So Curve Note really has nothing to do with it anymore. So we probably need to pass in the note that we want to delete instead of getting it from Current Note. Or I guess we could get it from the URL if we wanted to do that, if we wanted to go to that trouble again. So either way, which way you want to do it? You want to get it out of the URL? Okay. So we'll basically do this thing again. Well, not exactly this thing, but something like this. So in app.js, uh, main.js, excuse me, remove current note, get a copy of notes, that's all fine. But I, we're, well, we are basically doing that same thing. So this time we need to get um, the ID const id equals um, this.props dot match dot params dot id const i notes find note note dot id equals not this dot state dot current note dot id but id this one that we got from params and if it found it, then we'll splice it and we'll set state. We do not need to reset current note. Instead of reset current note, what do we do? Yeah, we should redirect just to slash notes, right? So we can probably put that inside the if. So this.props.history.push slash notes. Let's try it out. Not seeing much happening. Bummer, man. So remove current note, note form. Where's remove current note? Remove current note, still there. It's still set to the on click. Let's look at main.js. Let's put a console log in here. Console log. Deleted. Deleted is in our console. Yep, we didn't. Uh, you're right. I didn't copy and paste it, as it turned out. So uh, this is, needs to be converted to a string, because that one's going to be a number, as we saw. Firebase just assumes it's a number because it looks numerical. <coughs> Let's try that again. It says deleted, still didn't delete. Still not happening. Hmm? Getting the ID from this.props.match.params.id. Um, so let's make sure that's that's there. Let's look at, this is we're in main now, right? Main, props, match, params, not there. Main did not receive that even when the ID changed. The props to main did not change, which is interesting. So it seems like uh, because that just changed this switch here, higher up the level than that, the props didn't actually change. The props only changed in the form. They didn't change here. So we may actually have to pass in 
pass in the note. Seemed like it ought to work. Doesn't seem to work. So instead of remove current note, we could say remove note and pass in which note it is. So then instead of finding the I that ID, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we could call this current note if we want. <coughs> so compare it to, uh, sorry, compare note ID to string to current note dot ID. That should work, but now we have to pass this in. We have to pass current note to remove note. So in note form, when we call current note, remove current note, on click remove current note, we now need to pass an argument to that. So I'll change this to an arrow function that calls remove current note, passing in this dot state dot note. Ah, uh, yes, we renamed it. Remove current note is now remove note. Now we didn't actually change the name of the prop, uh, but we should have. So remove current note. Remove. Note. See what we got. Here's this one. Still not doing right. Uh, so probably we, we may not need to change this to, to a string anymore now. They're both going to be strings, maybe. Yeah, they're both going to be strings now. Potentially. Let's make sure this is true. <laughs> do to do, do to do, do. Boy, I typed a lot before we discovered this. All right. How about we make a new note and we delete that? Okay. Yep, it worked. What did you do in note form? Note form. I changed the name of it from remove current note to remove note. And I changed the on click on the button to an arrow function that calls remove note because now I need to pass this dot state dot note in as an argument. <coughs> and up in app.js, the last thing I changed, or main.js, uh, was I no longer convert it to a string. You still could, but make sure you do both sides. It's not a bad idea to just convert them both to the same format before you do the comparison, but. Uh, we don't need the ID variable, right? We don't need to get because it's not we're not finding it in the params anyway. <coughs> Pass in this dot state dot note. So make sure that in main JS you actually change your form props here and rename it to remove note. <coughs> and if you try to delete a blank one, it's all right, nothing happens. Correct. In fact, it was causing a problem. Redirect appropriately after removing a note. 